Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do a restore of the Clonezilla image that was taken of this Windows 10 machine. So if your machine has an issue and you want to do a restore, this is how you would do it in Clonezilla. So if you have Clonezilla on a USB key, select to boot from the USB key and then it'll load up Clonezilla, like you see here. I'm using VMware Workstation, so it's the same. I just have the ISO attached. So I'm going to load up Clonezilla, Clonezilla Live VGA 800 by 600. Okay, and it's asking which language do you prefer? English. Change keyboard layout, keep it the same. And so we're going to start Clonezilla. Select device image, work with disks or partitions using images using the image that was created in the previous video. Hit tab, then OK. And from here, we're going to use the local device, local dev. I'm going to click OK. Previously, I had attached an external drive to store the image. So this is where I replug it in. And then afterwards, I press Enter to continue. And then it's going to do a scan. And then it sees it here. It's under slash dev slash SDA. So afterwards, I press Control C. And it's going to find all the disks and partitions. Here Clonezilla is asking, now we need to mount a device as slash home slash part image. Clonezilla images repository so that we can read or save the image in slash home slash part image. So we want to read it from the external drive that was attached. So it's going to be SDA1. So I'm going to go down to SDA1 and hit OK. And then here it asks you want to do check and repair the file system before mounting the image repository. I know there's no file system issues, so now I'm just going to uh, check here. No FS check, no file system check. And then it's going to ask here which directory is for the Clonezilla image repository. If there is a space in the directory name, it will not be shown. So this is the directory, this is the root directory. And so we can see our image here, 2023-07-13-18-IMG that was made. So we're just going to click on done. And then here it's going to mount it and then I'm going to press enter to continue. So here it asks the mode to run. So we're going to pick beginner, beginner mode, accept the default options. Here it's asking us what we want to do. So we want to restore disk. So we go down to restore disk. Then we go to OK. And then choose the image file to restore. So it's the only image here that's on the external drive. So that's the 2023-07-13-18-IMG directory. So we're going to pick on that and then tab and then hit OK. Here it's asking us to choose the target disk to be overwritten. All data on the entire disk will be lost and replaced. So this is the drive. This is the Windows 10 drive that we are going to write to. And so we're going to pick on this and hit OK. And it's asking us to choose the mode to create the partition table on the target disk. Attention 1 to create a new partition table on the target disk. All the data on the target disk will be erased. Two. Clonezilla will not restore an image from a large disk to a smaller disk. And however, it can restore an image from a small disk to a larger disk. And if you have no idea, keep the default values and do not change anything. Please just press enter. So it's going to be to the same size. So I'm just going to use the same partition table from the image. So that's dash K0. Select that and then hit OK. And then before restoring the image, do you want to check if the image is restorable or not? This action will only check the image as restorable or not. It will not write any data to the hard drive. Yes, you can check the image before restoring. And I'm going to select no, check, no skip checking the image before restoring as I've already did a check prior when, uh, when making the image in the first place. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to hit OK. So it now asks us the action to perform when everything is finished. And you can have it reboot, you can have it shut down, or you can have it just display an option and you decide. And so I'm going to pick choose. So then I can see the status of everything once it uh, completes. 
And uh, so if this is your first time running through, I recommend doing this just so you can get an understanding and see how everything is. So I'm going to pick that and hit tab and I'll go hit OK. And then I'm going to hit enter. And it's asking us to for the passphrase to decrypt the image. Okay, I put the password in, it succeeded to decrypt the image. And it's asking us one final time, are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Okay, and it's asking again, I'm gonna hit Y. And it's going through the motions. Okay, and it's starting to restore the image. So I'm just going to fast forward through this. Okay, this partition is done. Okay, and this partition is also done. Now it's making changes to the MBR, master boot record, and partition sizes. Okay, and it has completed. I'm going to hit enter. And it's asking me to choose power off reboot, enter command line prompt. So I'm going to hit reboot and hit tab and OK. Okay, it's booted into the OS now, and I'm just going to log in. So that's it. That's all you need to do to restore an image in Clonezilla. Just be careful when selecting the disk to restore the image to. Other than that, it's very straightforward and easy to do. Thank you for watching. Bye now.